Hey everyone, uh, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to the big DLSS 4 video. I will cut to the chase very quickly because today's video is going to be a bit longer than expected. So DLSS 4 just released and uh, it came with a bunch of new changes. Uh, today I will show you uh, the comparison between it, what's the changes uh, and how to install it along with some testing methods too. So I have already uh, installed this on the Cyberpunk uh, 2077 update 2.2.1 2.21 sorry and this is the stock look of the game uh, I am running it on 1620p because on 1080p there is not much thing to notice so I am using it on 1620p along with that uh, I have not activated the DLSS just yet because I want to show you the like native FPS and how much it changes and everything so on uh, 1620p high settings uh, you can see my frame rates are hovering around like uh, 30 35 the quality looks uh, pretty good but yeah it's 1620p so it's very heavy 30 FPS is not playable uh, now if I go to setting and activate the DLSS uh, first we will not use the transformer first we will use the CNN or the convolutional neural network handful of name mouthful of name uh, set it on performance because I'm on 1620p click on apply and if I go back to the game you can see FPS has gained uh, quite a significant margin like uh, from 35 to 70 72 I have kept the DLSS uh, frame gen off along with that I have also turned off the image uh, sharpening of Nvidia scaling and DSR smoothness off to keep the test as legit as possible uh, as I'm using the 1620p that's why I have disabled the DRS smoothness also so if I like go back to the game now you can see on CNN model it's around 80 FPS which is very good uh, if you look close to the car's quality and everything you can check it if you look to the fence you can notice it now as soon as I switch to the transformer model on performance click apply and go back to the game you can see FPS has dropped a little bit like from 80 to 65 like around 15 FPS which is around 20% or something maybe when you count it 200 or something but quality has improved a very little not very much like if you look to the fence I will show side by side comparison also in one second if you look to the fence the fence are a little bit less uh, jagged and are uh, less anti -aliased. so yeah now uh, this is the fps hit you will take uh, while installing and using this mod so yeah i thought i just show you like uh, how much the fps it is and yeah now we go to the installation process but first i will show you the um, model video also i have recorded it so if i turn on the transformer model say here and uh, play the cnn model also i need to use a different media player because i can't play two videos in a single player now if you look here this is the transformer this is the cnn like the old and new so in the new one look at this car graph it's a little bit sharper than the old model also look at the arasaka's logo which is a little bit uh, more clear uh, compared to this this one a little bit blurry maybe i have also kept the video setting to def uh, default one like automatic automatic everything uh, and uh, look at this barbed wire here it's also a little bit shimmery and this is a little bit clearer here so yeah this is just the comparison now i will show you how to use it uh, in game and how to like verify it that it's working or not get microsoft game pass starting from 7.99 at the ultimate edition at 14.99 including games from ubi ea play and cod and many many more Discord Nitro Classic is starting at just 399 rupees. To grab the offer, join Discord. So for that, we will need two zips, DLSS4 and DLSS Tweak. So we're gonna extract the DLSS4 on the desktop. Now, if you open the DLSS4, you will see three DLLs. One is the main DLL file for the game. And these two, this is the DLSS uh, Ray Reconstruction DLL. And this is the DLSS frame generation DLL like for the 40 series. So if you have a 40 series card, you can paste all these three. But if you don't, if you have like a 30 or 20 series, you can just paste this one or maybe just copy these three for safekeeping. So I'm going to copy these three. Go to the games installation directory. I will show you how to activate the preset J also, which is a little bit uh, trickier. Now, where is my game? There. After that, we go inside bean x64. I have also... Uh, 
heard that this uh, dlss4 is working on uh, alan wake 2 and forza horizon 5 and maybe some other games but i am not sure about those but these two games are surely working alan wake and forza horizon 5 uh, so let's paste it here after pasting we will also extract the dlss tweaks here open the dlss tweaks copy everything and paste it here now after pasting we need to run the dlss tweaks config as administrator so run it now you will be asked if yes or no for the first time if you run it so you will need to select yes from that uh, checkbox after that uh, you will need to select this dlss hood option to force enable and then scroll down to the bottom then here select the sign uh, driver signature or uh, enable signature select it to true and after that select the global hood override to enable all dlss and select the global preset to g i know the preset that the dlss4 uses is j but this dll this the new dll does not have the g preset so when you select the g in the dlss tweaker it automatically switches to j which i will show you with this video uh, one in one moment uh, after that uh, selecting these three to four files like this one this one this one and the override dlss hood to force enable click on save and after that close this now if i run this transformer model video uh, you can see uh, bottom here it says the preset j i know it's very blurry but uh, it says uh, preset j you can also check that in my like th if you cut the video to the beginning where i testing the transformer model you can also check that uh, that's the j but when you switch to the cnn model it will automatically switch to the d preset here you can check it has automatically switched to the uh, d preset so yeah that's the full tutorial of uh, using it uh, i hope this will help you if this helps you uh, consider uh, subscribing to the channel and uh, join discord if you are facing any kind of issue uh, and yeah, i'll see you guys in the next one so until then cheers happy gaming guys